My name is Connie Tenorio. I'm a senior graduate student, actually a PhD candidate in the Biomedical Sciences program in the College of Medicine here at Florida State University. So I actually came to FSU for my undergraduate degree first and I really loved chemistry when I was in high school. I didn't really, I think, understand it. I thought I did at the time, but FSU was one of the top universities in the United States for chemistry and so I did my undergraduate in biochemistry and I started doing uh, volunteering in labs and then you know talked to people, met professors and found out that I really loved research. I'm very passionate about my research. I think it's a little cliche, but graduate school is one of these things that you really have to commit to. Um, I'm also very passionate about science education. I think um, equity in education is extremely important and I try to reach as many students as I can um, just so we can have in the future a more educated population. I think that's one of the things I'm most passionate about. So uh, my research mainly is on protein stability and function studies with uh, protein evolution. And what that entails is essentially looking at how proteins respond when we insert function into um, a scaffold protein. And proteins are biopolymers comprised of amino acids. Essentially, they're almost like Legos where you can put them together. And so you can think of an unfolded protein, like wet spaghetti, and a folded protein, something like an origami figure. And proteins go from denatured to native unfolded to folded. They're interchangeable. There's a lot of implications about this research, not only in terms of pharmaceuticals. I think you hear all of the time about these cancer drugs that are antibody-based, and antibodies are proteins. And so if we are able to not only use them for pharmaceuticals, but you can think of using proteins as materials, uh, something like a hydrogel, um, really understanding how to control these proteins is important. I have had almost 20 undergraduate students that I've mentored in my time as a graduate student um, and actually two of them just got into medical school. Uh, I'm, I'm very proud of them and I think that helping people understand even the smallest part of why science is important in our just everyday life, I think that is one of the ways that my passions intersect with my research. The advice I always give someone who is looking to go to graduate school is you really have to want it. You have to know that it's not something, it's not a backup plan, it's not something casual. You really do invest time and time is a resource you never get back. And so you really have to know that this is something that's for you. But it's also okay to think about and take your time before going to graduate school and really discover what it is that you're passionate about. I've been looking into science policy as a possible career, advocating for science funding and science education for students. I think, again, having uh, education equity is extremely important where everyone has access to the best kind of education. Uh, it's, it's, I, I think it's, it's morally right to have an educated population. So um, that's something I'm interested in. I'm, I'd also be happy teaching. I, I want to be the best scientist I can be. Um, Maybe I'll be a professor. I'm still in a liminal state. I'm still figuring it out, but I definitely love science. I still want to be a part of it.